Hello and welcome to Allegree Tech Talk. My name is Jack and here we've got a Stratocaster that's experiencing some nut issues. It's got a nut that is cut for 9s, we've set it up to have 11s and we're just sort of getting a little bit of buzz on open strings, strings are a little bit high and it's pr uh, primarily because the strings are too wide for the nut slot, they can't go all the way down so we're going to show you how to rectify that now. Okay, to start out, we're going to just double check that we can put a feeler gauge under there. We kind of want our first fret on the e high E to be at about point, uh, 0.075 mil or 0 0.03 inches. And as we can see, we've got quite a bit of room. We want about half that at the, uh, the high E with 0.4 mil or 0 0.016 inches. And again, we've got quite a bit of movement. So, what we'll do is we're going to slack off the strings. Pop them out, because we don't want them in the way for this. And then, we're going to take a little bit of tape tape along that part of the neck and here just so in case we catch anything with a file it doesn't cause any damage to the guitar and now we're going to take the files that we've got I've already got them labeled out in size according to our string gauge and we're just going to go at the slot slowly. I'm going to try and get a nice even cut and then we're going to angle it down just a smidge. And we're going to rinse and repeat for the other nut slots. Remembering that we don't need a lot of material taken off. We can always cut more but it's difficult to go back. Now that we've done, taken that, we're going to Get our high e, uh, our low e, put it back in the slot. See where we're at with the feeler gauge. So just put a little bit of tension there. Now you can see that there's still a little bit of a gap. I've still got a little bit of wiggle room, but it's a lot better than it was. So we'll go at that one again. There we go. You can see now that when that's underneath, as soon as I move that, the string raises. Probably get away with doing just a smidgen more, because again, there's a little bit of movement there. But even the smallest sort of adjustments on this can be very effective. hardly anything so that is done. What we're going to do now we're going to get our A check to see where we're at Just slowly going to move down the feeler gauge sizes see quite a bit of movement in there so we're going to grab 
the nut file that we're using for this, which in this case is a 42. That is already looking a little bit nicer than it was, a smidgen more. Okay, so as you can see in the photo here, we have got the strings floating just above the first fret. You don't really want them to be too low, else they'll catch on the first fret and cause a lot of fret buzz. And they're nicely seated within the nut. There's no gap between the bottom of the string and the bottom of the uh, slot in the nut. They're firmly touching the bottom. That way you don't uh, sort of deaden the string and get that sitar sounding effect, which can sometimes you wonder why you're getting it when you're playing and it can just be an incorrectly cut nut. Uh, this process works pretty much for every nut, uh, every nut type whether you've got graft tech or bone which we've got in this case. Um, you should be alright to work on any of your nuts. Obviously make sure that you measure twice, cut once and you can always take away more material but if you overcut it's a little bit more difficult.